Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. Okay. So we have a matrix space XD here, right? So let me draw. So this is a matrix space XD. This is any arbitrary matrix space. They have given Y dy. It is a subspace. Okay. It is a subspace of this matrix space XD. The given information is this Y dy is complete. They have given this y d by is complete. Complete means what every Cauchy sequence is convergent. And what we have to prove, we have to prove that this matrix space y d by is closed. We have to prove it is a closed set. Okay. So let us start to prove. Let me write the given information. We have we have y d by is complete. Okay. So this is a given information and what we have to prove to prove that y is closed. So tell me how to prove any set is closed. There are several options. Okay, so There are several methods we have. We can prove its complement is open then it, it will be closed. The second way is you can prove it contains all its limit points then also you can say it is closed. The third option is a is equal to a bar. If you can prove this one, then also you can say the set A is closed. Okay, so I will follow this method, right? So why it's closed? So let me mention that is to prove that that is to prove that Y is equal to Y bar. Okay, so tell me how to prove two sets are equal. First set is subset of second and the second set is subset of first. Like this, if A subset of B and B subset of A, then we say A is equal to B. In the same way, I will prove Y subset of Y bar and Y bar is subset of Y. Okay. But see what is the definition of Y bar? Y bar means Y union Y dash. Okay. So this is definition of closure Y union Y dash. That means obviously Y subset of Y bar. Okay. Since it is a part of it. So clearly, let me mention clearly y is subset of y bar. So that means half part is done. We, we proved the first set is subset of second. Now we have to prove the second set is subset of first. So now to prove, now to prove that y bar subset of y. So it will take some time. Okay. So it's not that much easy like this one. Okay. So we'll, but we can prove it easily. So we have to prove that y bar subset of y. Tell me how to prove first set is subset of second. How to prove this a subset of b. So there is one standard method in this topology. We take any arbitrary point from a and we prove that it is in b also. So that's why we can say a subset of b. I will follow the same method. So I'm going to take any arbitrary point. So let x belongs to y bar. Okay, I am taking any arbitrary point from y bar and I am going to prove that it is in y. Then we can say y bar subset of y. Okay, so y, x belongs to y bar. But see, there is one more definition of closure of any set. So that definition is therefore for every r greater than 0 ball with center x radius r intersection y not equal to phi. So this is one of the definition of closure of any set, right? It belongs to closure. That means for every r, if you can take any radius ball with center x radius r, definitely it intersects y. So this is definition of closure set and I use here. See, there is one more definition of uh, C like this. That is a definition of limit point. But see, in the definition of limit point, we remove singleton x. We remove the center of that ball. But here we do not remove the center of ball and simply we write bxr intersection y is not equal to phi, right? And this is true for every r. So let me remove this part. So we will get some more space to write. Okay. Okay. So let us continue. I am going to use this space. So uh, let us recall the most important thing. This is true for every R. That means if I take R is equal to one, if I take R is equal to one, then what will I have? B X one center X radius one intersection Y not equal to five. So let me draw the diagram. So the picture will be clear to you. Such matrix space we have, right? 
and suppose this is y this is y okay this is matrix space xt and this is our set y so x in x is in closure okay so that means suppose x is here somewhere so ball with center x radius 1 ball with center x radius 1 radius 1 right intersection y this intersection is not equal to 5 some common part will be there so if the intersection is non empty definitely you can select one point i am calling it as x1 okay so therefore we can choose so we can choose some point x1 belongs to b x1 intersection y okay but see let us recall this one for every r greater than 0 so we have written for r is equal to 1 but it is true for r is equal to 1 by 2 also it is true for r is equal to 1 by 3 also since it is true for every r greater than 0 so i am going to write for r is equal to 1 by 2 so i am going to put r is equal to 1 by 2 so b x 1 by 2 intersection y is not equal to 5 by this definition right so this time i have reduced the radius and i have taken it as half that means we will get comparatively small ball but again it intersects y okay so the intersection is non empty so definitely we can select one more point so i am calling it as x2 so let me mention therefore we can choose we can choose x2 belongs to b x 1 by 2 intersection y so i can repeat the same story for r is equal to 1 by 3 also 1 by 4 also that means each time i am reducing the radius but just because of this uh, definition each time we can find some point x3 x4 x5 like that okay so that means indirectly we are constructing a sequence having terms x1 x2 and so on xn and so on okay so let me write a general statement in general in general for r is equal to 1 by n what will i have b x 1 by n intersection y is not equal to 5 in that case also we can choose we can choose xn belongs to this intersection b x 1 by n intersection y right that means and, and so on and so on that means we can continue this process infinitely many times so in this way we are constructing a sequence having points x1 x2 x3 and so on xn and so on right just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let me mention therefore therefore we get a sequence right we get a sequence xn having terms like this x1 x2 x3 and so on xn and so on in y so see all terms of this sequence are in y in this diagram also you can easily see or xn belongs to intersection okay and one y is one of them that means all points from y so we get a sequence xn in y xn in y such that such that xn belongs to that ball with center x radius 1 by n but you know that if any point lies inside a ball that means distance of that point from the center of ball is less than its radius since point lies inside a ball if point lies outside a ball let me show with the help of diagram suppose this x okay this radius is 1 by n xn belongs to ball xn belongs to ball so that's why the distance between x and xn is less than radius which is 1 by n so therefore i can write d of xn x less than 1 by n but we know that 1 by n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity getting so this is a very standard sequence and that sequence converges to 0 as n tends to infinity so the distance is less than 1 by n so obviously it will also tend to 0 so distance goes to 0 distance between xn and x distance between xn and x goes to 0 it means xn converges to x okay as n tends to infinity xn moves to x as n tends to in infinity in this diagram also you can see all points are moving towards that single point x right but the most important thing that sequence is a convergent sequence 
therefore xn is convergent sequence in xd in this matrix space xd right in this matrix space xd it is a convergent sequence it converges to x right but we know that every convergent sequence is cauchy so that's why it is also cauchy therefore xn is cauchy in xd okay the reason is reason is every convergent sequence is cauchy okay every convergent sequence is cauchy so that's why that xn is also cauchy right so uh, i want actually some more space to write so just make a screenshot of it then we will go further see what we have written we have written that xn is cauchy in xd but basically all terms of that sequence lie in y get it this is the sequence in y so that's why it is cauchy in y obviously so therefore okay let me mention the reason also but but xn belongs to y for all n belongs to set of natural number all terms in y so therefore xn is cauchy in that matrix space subspace y dy right but y dy is complete okay so this is a given information so we should use it but y dy is complete complete means what complete means every cauchy sequence is convergent so right now we have a cauchy sequence so we can say it is convergent so therefore xn is convergent in y dy get it xn is convergent in y dy but we know that xn converges to x so we are saying xn convergent in y in y means what the point where the sequence is converging that point lies inside y but we already know that xn converges to x so that's why that x should be in y since it is convergent in y get it in y that means that point should be in y you remember we started with what we started with x belongs to y bar okay so let me mention therefore we started with x belongs to y bar and we proved x belongs to y so x is any arbitrary point it means every mem every point of y bar is a member of y so therefore y bar subset of y so this is second inf important information we got in first we have already stated y subset of y bar and in second we are writing y bar subset of y so if you use both of them from one and two what can you say y is equal to y bar and see this is one of the definition of closed set so therefore y is closed so in this way we proved if you have a matrix space xd and y dy is a subspace which is complete then definitely it is closed okay so the proof is over just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video